What's up, soil brothers and soil sisters? It's 100 degrees out here, y'all. It's hot. And I was thinking, man, it's, it's, it's burning up like all over the world. W what are we going to do with our garden? So I thought about what is thriving in this heat. Very little rain but tons and tons of heat. So I said, let me take y'all along. Let's check out the garden and see what is thriving and what we suggest you may be able to deal with in extreme heat, triple digits. So let's go. So first I wanna start with these big babies. Since I'm standing here in front of it, these are some of my husband's banana plants. They love heat. Whether you have them in a pot or in ground, they love the heat. Bananas are great to grow, especially in hot and humid areas. So, banana, number one on our list. Let's move on. These are our beautiful passion fruit vines. These things are amazing. Man, once they get going, it's over. They just go for what they know. Passion fruit. Love, love, love the heat. I don't know if you can see that flower. Look at that. Beautiful. Was hoping it would focus. Passion fruit. We definitely no, you can grow passion fruit in triple digit temperatures. Great plant to grow. So this baby here is cranberry hibiscus. If you love salads and you struggle with growing, um, we know we can't grow brassicas, lettuce, and, and all that good stuff for the most part in the south because they're going to bolt. It's just too hot. Here you go. Beautiful cranberry hibiscus. Delicious. All you got to do is pop off the leaves and eat them. <laughs> Cranberry hibiscus, another heat loving plant. Look at this banana plant. Ooh, man. The warmer it gets, the bigger it gets. Look. Look what's happening up there. Can you see that? I want to go after it. But I don't want to disturb it. Let's see. Look at that. Bananas. Ooh, that thing will drop down over the next few days. This thing is massive. Thrives in the extreme heat. Beautiful. All right, y'all. We can't leave out the herbs. This lemongrass from seed. I started these seeds last year. <laughs> Look at it. Overgrown, gone crazy. But I also have mint in here. Chocolate mint doing great. Blue butterfly pea. Let me bring you in closer. What else thrives in the heat? Turmeric. Turmeric is a very important food that we need often. I say every day, but as often as you can. We have a black turmeric that's doing great. I'll bring you in closer in a second. We have a white turmeric behind me that's doing great. Triple digits. We also have an orange turmeric. I'll show you that one too. All doing great. We have black turmeric. White turmeric. More 
passion fruit. Look at that. Passion fruit. Now you can see my blue butterflies. They are gorgeous. This one. orange turmeric doing great doing great I hope you are growing your turmeric now is the time our pepper plants y'all <laughs> peppers are showing off in this heat this one need to come off look at that they showing off peppers Definitely grow your peppers now. Look at those cayenne. Food and medicine. Stevia. Stevia is very, very happy. You remember a couple weeks ago when we made extract? My husband got um, propagated it. Happy. Look at her back okay this is one of my herb beds i got some basil coming up here this is um lavender i keep picking all the flowers off of them so we'll have them when it get cold toothache plant back here i keep um right here i done harvest all that i need to get off there today i have lemon balm more turmeric love it but look at that that chamomile she not happy she ain't happy but that's all right i done harvest off that thing so much i'm happy so she can take a break till next year y'all see that behind me corn that's another heat loving crop. <laughs> it loves the heat. It's doing great. Long as you can balance out your um, water, keep it watered, not let it get too dry. Look at it. I can't say how much corn we're going to get, but it sure is happy. Hmm. No complaints. No complaints. Now, we ain't gonna talk about these today because that's not what we here for these poor little tomatoes it's not their time of the year they're not too happy but this behind me long bean look if you ain't growing long bean we have enough long bean already it's the beginning of july we have enough long bean in the freezer to last us an entire year we have more long bean coming in. We have shared long bean with our neighbors. I took long bean to Virginia and gave some to my mom and my brothers. Should definitely grow long bean, especially if it's hot. Another one we have not started yet, okra. My husband loves okra. Grow it in the heat. Love the heat. Will grow like crazy. Will give you enough for an entire year. Put it down. You're going to harvest it every day. Like our beautiful long bean. Remember, it's hot out here. We talking triple digits. <laughs> Had to take a slight intermission and go and get the kids so they can come outside for a few minutes. And my water. Because it's hot out here. So let's finish up. I'm going to hang that here. Um, what am I going to show y'all next? my husband's beans so about two weeks ago my husband showed y'all how to do how to make a free trellis <laughs> look y'all I say success let me go over here 
so you can see it. I say successful. Look at his beans. They doing exactly what they supposed to do. Climbing. These beans over here are definitely out of control. But it's food. No complaints. It's food. More corn. Remember we said? Love the heat. Love the heat. Hickma. It's time to harvest these. But I'm trying to wait to get more seeds. I want all the hickma seeds I can get. So I'm going to leave those down for a few more weeks. Hickma. Definitely one. So when you are a homesteader, not only is food important, but personal hygiene. We grow our own soap, y'all. Shampoo ginger. We're going to talk about this later, but let me give you a little, little bit of that. Yeah. Oh, my God. I wish you could smell it. But we'll talk about that later. But that's a great one to grow. Triple digits. You need your soap. It's important. Shampoo ginger. Last but not least, melons. Melons. Watermelon, cantaloupe, all that good stuff. Not only is it great in triple digit temperatures, especially if you're giving it the right amount of water, not too much, it's refreshing, hydrating. It's water, mostly water, melon. And boy, does my husband have some melons up in there. Melons everywhere. Melons. So, how about that? Those are just a few of the heat-loving plants that you can grow triple-digit temperatures. And not stress out about it. <laughs> like our tomato plant. It's totally stressed out. However, it's okay. So, with that being said, talk to me. What are you growing in these triple-digit temperatures? What are your temperatures like beginning of July? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you can be notified each and every time we drop new videos. Until next time, Soil Family, stay hydrated. Check on your animals. Check on your neighbors. They all need you. They all need us. We love y'all, and don't let nobody steal your joy.